I don't know exactly when the heavy drilling uh, started in Galveston Bay. I would say probably in the 40s or maybe a little earlier. But, uh, well, I I do know it's earlier because on one of the characteristics, uh, they would uh, apply for a permit to put a well down and, uh, you know, the the agencies would look at it and say, well, there's no reefs there. and, and But they'd have to come in and build a, what be shell pads. And early on, they, they had to have one pad for the, the well that was drilled and another pad for uh, uh, they had some type of uh, structure that uh, they used for generating power or something. Anyway, they had to have two uh, pads down. And they would put down two acres of, guess what, a uh, shell. And, and what they were doing, they were building artificial reefs out there. But the problem being, if they if they drilled a, a well and it, it become uh, a producing well for the gas or oil, they'd put a structure down. And and then they'd uh, have Brown and Root or one of the uh, other companies uh, come in and lay the line to the distribution platform uh, and then on into the shoreline, you know, with a, a larger line with other products from the other wells. But there was wells all over the bay, and then when they got the self-contained drilling rigs, they just have a one about an acre of a shell to put down. So the single little reefs like that were the were the newer ones, and the old ones were the two acre reefs. But uh, if things uh, on the public reef were were you know overworked, these uh, oyster boats would come in and they'd start harvesting oysters off these little reefs that surround the the well structure was sitting on. And if the line had not been buried going right up to the structure and inside of it, well, quite often those dredges would hang the the pipe and 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 people say, well, they they couldn't break the pipe. Well, they could, they did. And if it's oil, well, you had a spill out in the bay, and if it's gas, you had the bubbling and, and some, uh, you know, oil traces too. 